Hello everyone, welcome back to our Grasshopper tutorial. Today we're going to introduce you a very interesting project, this kind of pattern structure inside of Grasshopper. And I saw this channel yesterday, uh, this dude Terence, he is so good uh, with Python in Grasshopper. So his lectures are more for students with strong background in Python. And uh, all the codes, they are not complicated, but the way he solved the problems and the way he used the RS uh, library is just great. So if you have very strong background in Python, I strongly suggest you to follow his channel. His stuff are very good. Uh, my channel are more for students with basic knowledge in Grasshopper. So today I'm gonna just show you briefly how to use this uh, in Grasshopper. And um, again, all the file that I created will be in the description and you can download it and try yourself. I'm not gonna introduce you all the steps, how to make this in Grasshopper, but rather I will introduce you the basic like workflow and you can play with it by yourself. So first I build this hexagonal shape and then I randomly assign each of those like um, shapes a ID, right? I mean, they are like range from zero to three, like zero, one, two, three. So each of them has an ID and I use this ID for them to call different kinds of patterns, right? We created different kinds of patterns based on Terrence's uh, tutorial. There are this kind of pattern, pattern and this kind of pattern and also this kind of pattern and also this kind of pattern. So there are four different kinds of patterns. And then again, we assign uh, an ID range from zero to three to each of the grid and the grid will pick up the specific pattern by using its ID, right? Th that process is more happening here. And then we use this kind of like uh, gradient to assign colors to each of the grid, okay? And also there are sort of curve attractors right here. We use those two curves to have different kind of color gradient for all of those cells. And of course, this kind of graph mapper can be used to change the diversity or the way of mapping in terms of the distance and the color assignment. And of course, all kind of inputs, you can change it over here, such as the grid size, all right, we can change it to 20. Also, you can play with the seeds that the randomness of those assignment for specific type of pattern in the specific grid. So we can do like um, 53 or 37, so on and so forth. And of course, you can change the color gradient setup, right? We have this purple, oh, sorry, this like pink, uh, reddish. I don't know how to say this color. And uh, we can set it up to the heat mapper, like color type, so on and so forth, okay? Thank you so much. And uh, please download this file and uh, also please subscribe my channel. Again, if you are interested in using Python inside of Grasshopper, please also check Terrence's uh, account. I took a look. He has a lot of very cool stuff. Thank you so much. And uh, um, I will see you in the next tutorial.